Good morning, this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovering and More, more and More. <clears throat> I'm having to evolve blog writing and how I engage with social media. I have had so many incidences of what do I do? How do I face this genre of what this country is going through? Just this week, how do I deal with this genre? of what this country is going through just this week on 14 blogs, several social media that I'm not getting rid of this year because literally bitches, every year I've just had guilt on top of guilt because I've just had to hit delete and abandon shit on social media and stuff. This is all so confusing. And the thing is, is that as a pagan, this is normal. But Christians, and I was, that's my whole friend base and everything, they're not pagan. And I, I've been struggling with that for years because people fight me as a pagan. If I just stay in my normal Christian role as wife, mom, and all that, I can even, you know, and even a working woman, they've normalized that too. And they've, you know, they've come, come the other way with things like submission of women to their husbands and all of that. They've, they've evolved some. Now you have to understand when I started my ministry, I was a strict Pentecostal, basically. And, um, exorcism is done a certain way in the Christian church and it's done completely different in the occult. And I've done both. And had, you know, in the Christian church, I was looked at as somebody who was mentally unstable and all that shit because of one thing. They didn't know who I was. And so when the men, white men, and we're talking in Mississippi, and I have stories, um, tried to exercise demons off of me, it didn't work. Because they're full of the spirit of Antichrist, according to the book of Second John, and it's me that needed to be exercising them. And if you think a white boy in the Protestant church in Mississippi understands the concepts of how actually he needs deliverance from a woman if you think that exists <laughs> I'm just gonna start laughing at you at you grow up evolve learn about your surroundings in 50 states you know we're fighting what they are calling critical race theory, which is just actually most of it. I mean, as long as it's balanced, which I should be black saying this. Um, we need to rewrite the whole history and make it more honest across all 50 states in the public and private school systems. But you know, that's going to, the freedom of religion card is gonna be played. And so people are gonna do what they're gonna do. And white supremacists want to retain a, a, a shit ton of power. And you know, these are the people that believed that black people were lesser and, pos and not even human, but you know, I'm a woman and they still think I'm a faulty male. That's Aristotle's time. So, dudes, so I'm going to go not quite black screen because you're going to hear me back out to go to my next place. And I'm probably going to talk through two entirely different blog articles because do you know what? Do you know, do you know what? And, and do you see that house right there? That's, that's my house. And um, on the desk, when you walk in the front door to the to the left, to the left, to the left. <laughs> um, I think that's Rihanna. It's got a song, so maybe that'll go in one of the two blog articles this is going in. <laughs> um, there's a notebook 
And so today I have decided that two blog articles of my art and thinking and cursing with runes, because the runes, my main set, Ralph H. Bloom is sitting there waiting for me to come home so we can finish cursing. I'm not kidding. Okay. You need to understand I can't light tea lights right now to pray for people because um, <clears throat> let's just say this. An ambulance in the past 24 to 48 hours has had to come to homes close to mine. And I know exactly what is stripping through. And it's nobody's business but the King's and my brother, Archangel Michael, and mine is how this is going. I am Tara, you know. I can tell you why. Something's happening. But I'm also Kara BC, who released when I was still a Christian. Don't ask why. And that's because the devil's in the details. But I don't even call Lucifer the devil anymore because he's my friend. And they come walking in surrounding me, those dudes in that army. And they're my friends. And, um, they're kicking ass, generally speaking, about this whole thing that women are defective men because they know that that's not true. They know it. So, you know. Yeah, my life's evolved and been degraded to a point of no return. And now I'm changing with my pad of paper that I put the date, you know, you circle the numbers and then, and so I'm cutting it into two blog articles and that means I'm not gonna cross link on my blogs because in the metaphysical world, I cannot cross link anything. Physically, on the internet or anything. I'm not going to unify. And that is because I've always been unified. I'm a universalist. And um, whenever I do that, it's like spinning my wheels in hell, hell because people will just break it up because I've been argued with that much. I'm not going to talk to you about my private life and my private things. I've told you one thing. I can't. I can't because of my abilities where the death as a death angel are concerned. I'll just, but I don't free will that. That is metaphysically what is happening. And guess what? It has to do with hearts of the fathers return to the children, hearts of the children return to the fathers, which is, you know, happening in a beautiful way. But the opposite of that is when people like me are in the midst, the fathers are judged, not the mothers. Because the opposite is always the case as well. In runes, it's called a reverse. In the Bible, it's just called, I understand how prophecy works. And there ain't one Christian Catholic pastor across all of time that I know of. In my times, at this current time, I'm not talking about past lives, male and female, leadership and Muslim that'll listen to anybody. They think they're right. And that's why they have so many divisions and people keep dying. Now, if anybody had a little more sense about that stuff, it was the Catholics. If you want the real metaphysical truth, that means I'm Catherine of Siena when I said that. Go look up her story. She wrote letters like I did in my Christian moments, okay? So, um, this is going on two blog articles. I am cursing what religion does to the King of Kings words in the Bible, period. It is an entity of religion, though. I don't curse the people. They do that themselves. I'm telling you that. 
you fathers not changing your political stances, you're cursing your families. That's what I'm telling you. Believe me or not, you never do. Excuse me, y'all are into blame games. And women get caught in that all the time. And I've got all the statistics on my side about bullying of um, homosexuals, trans, heterosexuals, about how bad it is actually in all the schools. How I was attacked for everything I stood for to destroy me mentally. And I'm back now and I ain't the one that's crazy. Never was. <clears throat> so I'm, I'm doing that with the God Pod show, cursing. Those who take advantage of the words of the Lord in the gospel record that I'm also coloring for another blog. And the thing is, is that I can interpret his words and there ain't nobody gonna believe me, but I'm gonna do it. I'm color it, interpret it. As a pagan and an agnostic bitches, This is just called the Bible. Two billion. One. Lots of us do it. All the time. Kindly. And you attack us. And you bully us. And you this. And you that. And social media means that it's easy to destroy us. And move on. And the pastors. And the elders. And all leaderships. Uh, uh, priests. Bishops. Da -da 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 -da, of all leaderships. Of all religions. Muslim. Protestant, Catholic. I'm not going to touch anybody else. Y'all need to listen to Archangel Terra. Men first. You back down off your dogma. And then you'll see the Lord's return. And in a lot of different ways, whether you see his body or not, is none of my business. It's none of my business. I never wanted it to be. So, that's the first thing. The second thing is a blog article about the Ukrainian-Russian situation. I'm just going to flat out curse Russia, the entity of war. Go to hell in my handbag. And the Republicans in any way, shape, or form. Encouraging the Russian side of this war. I curse you. <clears throat> this is Kara Coffey of the Ministry of Uncovered No More. Boy, howdy, do I need to go read poetry.